Hi, to play this cool game mode, go to Google and search chess.com slash automate. Today we're gonna do a little tutorial on how to win in automate chess. It's basically you put your pieces uh, onto the board and then uh, yeah, then your opponent does the same, also puts pieces on the board. You both uh, players have 35 points and then, um, then the computers play out in the end. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, automate chess, it's a, it's, um, a variation of chess on foundonchess.com. I will link it down in the description so you can play this yourself. So there, there's one setup that seems to be working every time to win uh, in this uh, chess variation. So let's uh, show you guys how that is. So starting a new game. So I'm playing Perry for you watch. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use this setup uh, that I'm gonna show you and let's see if I win or not. So you have to start by placing pawns, uh, six pawns. So I start to put the pawn here on g6. And uh, yeah, this should work against everything I think from what I've seen. I mean, you might draw, but uh, I'm pretty sure you won't lose, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's broken or anything, but I think the thing is that the knights are worth uh, 3 here, but bishops are worth 4, and 3 is very low, actually, for a knight. Knights are very powerful. So, uh, yeah. So as you can see here, the point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the setup. Just putting pawns. Very simple setup. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay. Continue putting pawns here. It's just very very simple putting pawns on this rank. Um, my opponent seems to be making some kind of special formation here. Honestly, it's not really that fun to do the same thing over and over again, and it's not very stimulating, but I mean, it's kind of fun in a way, but I think they probably should fix this so that knights are worth more than uh, three, because uh, if they are more valuable, I won't be able to have as many knights, and then, then in that case I wouldn't win. So this is a very new uh, uh, chess variation on, uh, on chess.com, so... Uh, it might be kind of broken in certain ways, and it seems to be right here. But uh, if you're watching this video fairly early, you might get to try out this fun thing. So I'm just gonna do knights now. I'm just gonna do knights. Just gonna do knights. Yeah, and that, that's simply the, the trick. There's not much more to it, honestly. Uh, it's a it's a sad thing though you uh, can't have um, rating in this uh, chess vari variation. I don't know what to call these kind of variations of chess, but I mean it, it is um, it is variations I would say. Okay, uh, let's uh, put some more knights here. Knights are valuable. People don't understand that. So I don't care that what my opponent does, I just do this against everyone. And uh, as you can see, I have 17 points still, and he only has 10 points. I have 17 points because I have only made knights. So that makes it so that I can make a lot, a lot, a lot of knights. And that's just very, it looks very funny. Yeah. So I'm gonna be able to put like uh, three more knights, I think. Or more more than three knights, obviously. Like this is so powerful. So I think it says seventeen here. I I can't really see because there's a thing in the way. But if it's seventeen and I have a, a knight costs three, seventeen divided by three. What's that? Is that five? So it's five and then two more uh, uh, points. Um, Looks like 11 now. 
Okay, but at least this is the setup. That's the most important thing. So in the beginning you have to put six pawns, if I forgot to say that. You have to put six pawns, the first thing, both players, that's the rules. Oh yeah, so now it's my turn again because my opponent has no points left. So I'm just gonna put more knights, as many knights as I can. Very, very, very simple. Put knight here, and now I only have two points left, so now I place pawns. Uh, I'm not sure how important it is where you place these pawns. You can probably place them on um, h6 and uh, a, a, a6 but I kind of like to put them here and also uh, also here and then put the put the king uh, right here and you see okay maybe not here now because ooh okay yeah it does look like it's very dangerous but my knights are actually defending really well here uh, in this case but yeah so I'm just gonna put my king here. Let's see how this goes. So I'm not playing now and he's not playing now. It's just the computers. Like the, the strongest computer, I guess. Uh, and they're just playing each other, playing it out. And it's just amazing to see this. Like, look at how ridiculous this position is. I have knights. So now we can just get ourselves chilled out and watch this. Grab some popcorn and hopefully watch ourselves win here. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah, I I've seen this work uh, very many times. So I think it's kind of broken, probably, but it's still, it's still a bit fun. <laughs> like knights are controlling every single one knight can go to every single square on the board and if you have a lot of knights like 35 divided by 3 what's that it's like 10 11 it's like 11 knights um, yeah because knights here are worth 3 so 11 knights it's a lot of knights. Yeah, and now we win the queen. And yeah, now he can just resign, honestly speaking. And yeah, that's that's basically the setup. So, uh, yeah, go out and try this yourself if you want to. If you're playing someone else that also makes this setup, just making knights, then you might get a draw. But it seems to be working very, very well against pretty much anyone else. Uh, that does anything else. See, we got the mate. We got the mate going. We can play a new game here. Just do the same setup. Every game. Now let's see how many games I am able to win with this uh, with this exact same setup. And I'm I'm gonna probably uh, fast forward because it's probably not so fun to see everything. And uh, yeah, let's do that now. So let's see how this goes. It looks pretty interesting. I might not fast forward everything. Maybe just not the um, maybe not the game because it's kind of beautiful to watch the game. But uh, I'll see what I do. Maybe I I, uh, I will fast forward this depending on how it is. But okay, looks pretty decent here. My knights are good. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna see how interesting this is gonna be to watch. I kind of find it interesting to see like 
computer wrecking every single position. It's kind of beautiful, in a way, satisfying, to say the least. It's going pretty fast anyway, so I think I'm gonna keep it like this and not fast forward it because, I mean, these are pretty fast wins. Maybe it's not so interesting to just see me doing the same setup every game, but watching the game itself, I mean, it seems kind of fun, honestly. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. So we have five knights versus a queen and a rook this time. We sack a knight. Actually, we didn't sack it. Uh, somehow. Yeah, it's gonna be even a mate if he takes that. Didn't take it. Yeah, I mean, it's a supercomputer, both of them, so... Yeah, now he can resign. It's over. It's over. We win. We win. Very cool game mode. I like it a lot. Except the fact that we can just use this same setup every time. <laughs> yeah, so they, they have to make the knights... Uh, cost more points thank you guys for watching subscribe leave a like and i'll see you in the next one